Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. And today we're going to look at creating this effect. In this effect, we're going to create cyan, magenta, and yellow elements. We're going to have RGB, red, green, and blue elements. And we're also going to get to black. And the beauty of this is that this type effect is totally editable. The type itself is editable and everything is in one type object. So let's get started. I'm just going to create a new document. Mine's 1920 by 1080 in size. I'm working in RGB color mode, but seriously, you can be working in anything at any size document. Now I'm going to put down my type first of all, so I'm going to the type tool. I'm using Myriad Pro and I've got a bold version of it, which is a nice thick version. And I'm thinking probably something around about 400 points is going to be ideal. So I'm just going to type test. You can type whatever you like. As I said, this is fully editable. Going to the character dialog, I'm just going to increase the tracking on this type because we are going to have sort of multiple layers of type. So we need to give it a little bit of room to move. Now with the selection tool, I'm just selecting the type object and opening up the appearance panel. If you don't see your appearance panel here, go to window and then appearance. Now you're going to click on characters. Well, you're actually going to double click on characters because that opens up this characters area and whatever fill or stroke you have selected right now, turn them both off. So you want no fill, no stroke. And then you're going back here to type no appearance. And when you do, it looks like your types disappeared, but you're seeing this marker here, which says that there's probably something here, you're just not seeing it. And the reason is you turned your stroke and fill off. So now we're going to add a fill. So I'm clicking on add new fill and I want to change this color. So I'm just going to double click here and I'm going to make this cyan. So cyan here is going to be 100% C and it's going to be zero in all of these other values. So this is pure cyan. I'll click OK. Now I need another fill, so I'll add a second fill and we're going to make this magenta. So with the color selected here, let's just double click on it. It's going to be zero in cyan, 100 in magenta, zero in Y, zero in K. This is it. Click OK. And then we're going to add a third one. And this, of course, is going to be yellow. Double click the color here and it's going to be zero, zero, 100. K will be zero. Click OK. So we've got cyan, magenta and yellow text and they're all stacked on top of each other so at the moment all we're seeing is whatever's at the top and if yours didn't go in at the top that's fine just make sure that you've got the three colors appearing here then we're going to move them so with just this yellow fill selected or the topmost fill doesn't matter which one it is but just make sure that only it is selected you'll choose effect distort and transform and then transform turn preview on so you can see what you're doing I'm going to start by moving this 30 pixels and 30 pixels just to see if that's a good amount. And that's looking pretty good to me. What I've done is offset the yellow fill away from the magenta and the cyan fill. And so we're seeing the yellow fill as well as a little bit of the magenta. So I'll click OK. Now let's go to the next fill, just target it, make sure that it's targeted, nothing else, and go back and do effect, distort and transform, and then transform. And we're going to knock this in a negative direction. So I'm going to go minus 30 and minus 30. Turn preview on. And so we should get this overlapping text effect. Now I think I've got too much here. So I'm just going to take this back to minus 20 and minus 20. I think that it was a bit of an overestimation. I'll click OK. I'm going to change this one back too. So we can just double click on the transformation under the top fill and just knock that back to 20 and 20 as well. You will just need to adjust it according to what type you're using in the size document. You want some overlap. You want to be able to see the cyan as well as the magenta and yellow. Again, I think that 25 might actually be better. So let's just knock this 25 and 25 and take this one negative 25 and negative 25. There might need to be a little bit of experimentation to get the best result because you want to see all three colors. Now we're going to the topmost fill. And you can see here that when we open its little disclosure triangle, we've got our transform effect, which is moving it. 
and we've also got an opacity setting. So we're going to open up this opacity. Now, each one of these fills has its own opacity and down the very bottom here is an opacity that actually belongs to the entire text effect. So you have to make sure that you get the right one. So right now we want the opacity for this topmost fill and we're going to set its blend mode to multiply. And now you can start seeing green and red. So you'll see there's a bit of red in here and there's a bit of green here. These are the other colors we're trying to get out of here also red, blue and green as well as black as we work here. And we've managed so far to get our cyan, magenta and yellow as well as some red and some green. So let's go to the second top fill. And again, we're going to target its opacity and we're going to set that to multiply. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything with the bottom most fill and you certainly don't need to do anything to the entire text shape itself. When I click away, you can now see all the colors in this text. You can see red, there's red elements in here. You can see green, they're green in here. You can see blue, there's blue here. And you can also see black where all the colors are overlapped. Now, if you don't want this sort of staggered look, you can come back in with the text selected and you can change the transformation. I'm going to do 25 and minus 20 on this one and just see how that looks. So you don't have to get the totally staggered look. You can have some of these elements at the same level and one adjusted. So there's plenty of flexibility here, but wherever the three fills overlap, you're going to end up with black and where only two of them overlap, you're going to end up with red, green or blue. As I said, this effect is totally editable. So let's go to the type tool and let's change this. I'll change text to taste and when I click away you can see that the effect is just reapplied to the new letters. You could also save this as a graphic style if you wanted to so that you could use it at any time. Select over the text, go to the graphic styles dialog and click new. You could then save that permanently as a file so that you could get to it at any time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the notification bell too, so we'll let you know as soon as new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley and thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.